Hey guys, so I am playing um, my game, obviously, and watching a movie, resting from the crazy of the last couple of weeks. I am exhausted, um, but it was a great Halloween, and I hope everyone had a great Halloween. Um, YouTube actually just updated things, and I can post pictures and all kinds of stuff, so I've been debating on maybe doing that, and and sharing more of my life with you guys than just the game. So we'll see. Um, anyways, with this, I was looking at this and I went, max points. I've never even realized this before. How many videos have I done on this now? I don't even know. Four or five? So I'm looking at this and I see at the top here, max points. And there's a little exclamation point, right? Looking at X-Men. So, he's an S13. Now, I think if I push the I that I can maybe see who all these people are in this team and what this team is carrying. So, I did it. And no, it doesn't. But it does show me a scoring system. I've told you guys time and time again not to worry about your stars. That it appeared that if you got less stars, you got more points. It's not true. It shows right here. I don't know if this is an update. I think it is a change. Um, but I'll have to look at the other videos, obviously, and see if it's there or not. I could have just completely overlooked this and not dawned on me. Um, but the stars matter, clearly, right here. These are your scores. This is the points, this points that you can get. So, with that being said... Um, in these endurance ones where, or dominance, where it is the dominance ones, and this is dominance right now in Trait Mania, where you, it's a single entry. So you get the highest goal in the single entry. This is the way to do it, is to come in, find, you know, who you're going to be fighting and get the most points and make sure you come out with the most points. And then, of course, you know, Look at who's in first place, second place, 12th place, whatever you're trying to beat. And then combine them by doing that. Um, as you can tell here, I get 7,000 points if I were to finish that with five stars. Now, if I drop down to an S7, I'm going to get 5,000 points. Now, if I go to an S10, I'm going to get 5,500. So the difference here is only 200 points. But we all know, well, a little less than 200 points, we all know that that are a little more than 200 I'm sorry um it doesn't make or break it always but it really can in the long run especially when you're we're in this mode um when we're looking at the other one endurance instead of domination where you can do it's a combination of multiple entries Obviously, two, three hundred points isn't a big deal when you're doing multiple entries like that and they're all stacking. When it's a single one like this, it's a big deal. So, I thought that was pretty cool um, to see this. This is definitely the way that I, where I want to be. I want to be able to get the most points possible. Now, how crazy is this? And this is where I'm like, you really do have to look. I don't know why. This has nine. 59.11. This, S10, 5505. So it's got to have to do something to do with team strength and maybe um, the team you're taking in. On top of that, like I have two reds. That should be the opposite, though. Red kills green, so this team should be easier for me, so I should get less points, I would think. I have no idea how they're doing this point system. And I haven't seen anything that tells us the point system. But there is a point system. And it's right here. Um, what does it say at the best at the bottom? Opponent's best created team. S11 plus plus. Um, combat result stars. Your re, your current streak bonus. Scar score is determined by opponent's best created team. And this is an S11 plus plus. That is why. So, because this person didn't change their defense, their score is determined actually by their best team. So, the best team they have is an S11++. 
Now, again, that's an autofill. When we autofill on mine, I put this in a video yesterday and spoke about it. Um, my autofill, I'll show it to you right now because I have not attacked yet. My autofill auto is, well, it's not an S10++. It's supposed to be, when it's up there, it's an S11, I believe. But either way, this is the autofill that it gives me, and obviously it's not the one that I use for numerous reasons, but the biggest one being clearly that it is not, um, there's no leader skill there, and I would like to use a leader skill, at least with the majority. So this is the team I've been using right now, and I know it's not the best team I can use for attack, but it's fine. Um, it's working, and that's honestly all that I care about in the moment. I will fix the rest of it later at another time. So with that being said, though, this is the team I've been using for attack, and it's been using pretty well, and it's an S10++, plus, plus, so it works. But going back, so it goes off of their autofill, so your best created team, so the autofill of the best created team. So that's why the points are higher here, even though they have an S9 up. Scopely says that they could make an S11++ team, therefore the points are higher, all right? Then the combat result, obviously you're, it's dependent on how many stars you get. Then your current streak bonus, which is right here. Multiple points earned for each attack. This bonus increases with each success of victory, but resets when defeated. So if you lose one, you obviously lose your streak. That's the whole point. It's a streak. Um, and then your entry boost, if applicable, you will see in some of mine that I do do entry boosts. When you spend coins, that's when you get them. When you use multiple tickets, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So you'll get entry boosts here and there. So it will pop up if you have one, though. You'll have the option to get one. And then, of course, number of turns. All right? Um, number of turns. I say, yeah, of course, but I and I said it right out, and I thought of it as, you know, well, five attacks, right? Number of turns, the turns are how many times it takes for you to put the team down. So... Let's test this theory. Let's go in here and attack this and see. I should be able to put it down pretty quickly. Um, let's make sure my team is right. It is. All right, let's go ahead and go in. And let's put them down and see what happens. Now, obviously, I want five standing. That's going to give me the most points now. Um, and then, obviously, we want to as well. All right. So, not bad at all. A couple of turns. 6,341 points. Now, it has a little thing here so it will actually a score breakdown sweet this has got to be new it has to be all right so earn arena points by entering arenas and defeating other players in your division score base i got 59 11 streak bonus was zero turns it took me seven turns so i got plus 430 on that for a total of 600 or 6, so if the seven turns is plus 70, so is was I right with my first thought of thinking the longer it takes for you to put them down, the more turns it takes, um, the more points you get. Now clearly, you as we can see, that that's going down. So we're going to go, crap, we're going to go here. Say a prayer. I'm not loving this one. All right, we're going to put this one down first. And this one will be a hard one for me to put down. So it's a little perfect. Um, crap, he's going to go off and revive the other one. Which is fine. Let their crap go off and then let's see what we can do putting them down. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um...
Let's see if that kills him. Mm, close. And let's see if that kills them. Real close. Now he's going to revive one, possibly. But let's see if I can keep him taunted. Oh, hold on. My TV was paused and came unpaused. All right. So, well, my movie was. Oh, I've got one down. I want to get Cindy or Sandy back up. And I can. So definitely want to do that. Don't kill him. Close. Don't die yet. And look at that. Perfect. All right. So let's see if it's some more turns. I have no idea how many that just took. All right. 10 turns plus 72. So it is the opposite. The faster you put them down, the more points you get. So that's the way to do it. You want to get them down as fast as possible. You want to go for the higher ones, of course. Now, let's play devil's advocate here and see if going for someone who might be weaker gives you about the same outcome or better. All right, so we've got the streak bonus, so we obviously need to take that into consideration. Let's go find... Someone that I know I can put down quickly. These guys. All right, so 58 is still pretty solid. First one I'm going to put down is him. And then I'm going to go for Shiva. All right, so let's see what we've got. Five turns plus 1,000 total points, 69.22 is not bad. So there you go. With the streak bonus and having, you know, less turns, you're still getting pretty much the same points if you're going for someone who's about the same. 69.22 is pretty good. Now, I think that once you're done beating them, you can come over here and see... My entry score so far. Yeah, points earned. So 63, 41, 66, 78, and then 69, 22 is what I just earned. So by going after someone a little weaker um, that I could kill quicker with having my streak bonus, I actually got more points from them than the other ones, which is awesome. So clearly, that's the way you want to balance that. You want to find someone, you want to do that little balancing act right there. That's the trick. That's the whole thing right there. You're going to want to find a team that has high points like this that you can put down quickly, very quickly, as fast as possible. So you're going to want to take in, like I said, you know, make sure you're, this is trait mania. So make sure you, you're keeping your traits always in the front of your head. If you're going to go in on a team that's all blue, you're not going to want, if you have an all red team, you're not going to want to do that. Even if it's, uh, you're stronger than them and they're whatever, if it's taking you more turns, you're going to, or you get, you know, one dies, whatever, you're going to get less points. It's hurting you. So you really want to play. Look at that. 9,415 9, points. 9,415 points. Five turns. 1,462 on that one. Streak bonus, 2,983. Base is that? Uh, 4,970. That's amazing. Right there is amazing. That is the way to do this. That is the trick. You want to win arenas, you want those top, you want the rings. This is what they're doing to get it. Um, and having these, obviously, are, is extremely helpful. So here we've got max points, 9,519. 9, As my streak bonus goes up, the points goes up, right? So 
This is created on their best team, which is an S10++. Plus, I have my streak bonus. So let's go on in. I have two reds that are very strong. They should be able to put those down. I have two greens that are very strong. And that one red should be just fine. And this is my last entry, so I want it to be a good one. A very good one, which means that these people need to go down quickly. Oh, not that quickly. Stop. Oof. And we're done. So let's see. Five turns up in the corner. It says that as well. I just caught that. Up in the left-hand corner. It says how many turns. 11,000 points. Nice. So a streak bonus is worth a lot. That's a lot of points right there. You want to keep that in your head. A lot, a lot of points. The base score was 52.88. That the turns 17.50. I mean, these that's good stuff. And that puts me where? Let's see. Still keeps me rank six. Crap. So, but that's the way to do it and to keep doing it over and over again. Now, this is what I think they're gonna do. Talking about. Um, nope, they don't have it. That must be for. Um, endurance mode only when there is the bonus ones so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to enter one more time we're going to go one more time together look at this somebody has a leader up as just a two star um that's kind of nuts right all right so with the your first start out i would say let's go for maximum points right um and that's this one right here and my team should be able to take that team So, I like the team that I'm using. I'm going to keep using that team. Um, it's working out well. I've got red and yellow that I'm going up against. Their max points are 6,110. And they're an S9++, but they're ranking again. You know, you could look at it and see that they have an S11++ team as their best created. And then clearly, I have no bonuses going on right now. So, I need to get five stars. I need them all to be standing. You want to hit your biggest hitter. Mama said, I, I've seen a couple of times, um, good player. I don't know them personally, but I've seen them on the boards, and they are a strong, solid player. And their name sticks out because I think it's funny that their name is Mama Sad. <laughs> it makes me think of that song, um, that old school song. All right, so... Then we've got Alex, never mind, Alex Killer for sale. That's not awesome um, and not allowed. And then uh, let's see, we've got a bunch of them. Nobody I know, though. Every once in a while, Hawk will pull me up in theirs, and uh, that's always funny when they're like, oh, I just got you. I would like to see when you're attacked um, or where your defense is. I'm going to go looking for that after, after we do these five attacks. All right, so I'm going to confirm my team. Clearly, I'm happy with this. Um, and then, obviously, you know, turns are a big deal. So you want to go as fast as possible. All right, so I'm on turn two. Turn three. Four turns, pretty good. Oh, I'm probably out of food storage. Yeah, I am. All right, so 7,610. For my first hit, that's very, very good. I got a good 1,500 on that four turns. If I could have kept it a little bit lower, it would have been better. I'm wondering if auto-playing isn't the greatest thing to do um, on these, only because they can make bad choices. So let's. I'm going to watch that for sure. All right, I obviously have to leave real quick and go and take care of this. So give me two seconds to make some room. And yes, war has started. Let me get in there and join. All right, so let's go level someone real quick. Why not? Um, sure. You know, actually, I have nothing. I have no characters I forgot. I have to collect. All right, so honestly, let's pr keep prepping. Well, 
Let's use her. She takes a lot of food. It doesn't give me a lot of points, but I really need to get her up there. And I don't worry about the individuals so much. We, uh, you know, we've got a faction level up coming up, and that's what I want to prepare for the most. Which means everybody needs tiered up, leveled up. And I have all this food sitting here. So, might as well. With her, she takes a lot. As you can see. I can't believe how many levels they've made them. It's going to be a long road to get her to where she needs to be. All right, that's good enough for now. What is she, like 120, 110? Yeah, that's right, 110. And then he's 90, I think. Yep. All right. Sorry about that. All right, let's go back in. Supporter squad, I'm excited for, and I will do a video if I see it. So defense team is right here, and you can definitely um, change that. So, all right, so let's go back in. Now, obviously, my points have changed. I have a streak. That matters. It really does. You still want to use common sense, though, and be careful where you're going, making sure you're getting those that bonus in for the hits. All right, so first one, let's go ahead and put her down. Why not? And then we'll do him. And this is what I'm saying, is that are they using your ARs correctly and, and all that good stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Damn, she barely put in a dent. That's about to hurt. All right, five turns, though. Better than what I thought it was going to be. Eight thousand eighty-four is not bad. Eight thousand is pretty good. So we've still got a good bonus there all together. And let's see. If you get five entries and you keep up at the eight thousand, that's where you need to be, where I need to be to go up to first. I, Or no, to get over where I'm at. First, I believe, is... 50 maybe? I'm not exactly sure. We, I looked at it quickly and then obviously came here to do this with you guys. All right, so the next one up, let's see. The, um, these guys would be a good hit. They really could. I would have a very easy time putting that team down um, because of my reds. But this one might take me an extra shot or so, but right now it is more points. I, I'm going to go with this one. And pray that it works out well. First thing I'm going to do is clearly I want to put down their revives. And this was what I was talking about as far as you know, are they making the ch the smartest choices all of the time for your group, or um, for your with turns being the way that they are? Not guaranteed. Ah, uh, one more hit from her. You would have died. Let's go ahead and decapitate him, and then I think I can auto play it from here. Um, and I'm going to be way up there on turns, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Oh, crap. And she's about to hurt me. She might take me down altogether. If he doesn't revive someone real quick, I could be in trouble. And he's not shielding himself, which is no good. And now my team is frozen and unshielded. Oh, come on. Bring someone alive. Thank you. Now you need to stay alive and heal yourself. So hopefully he does that. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Four standing is better. I got super lucky. I was a little nervous on that one. So I only got four stars. Not awesome. 7,000 points, kind of a bummer there, and I lost my um, my turns. I was 18, so I got zero points on that. 
That is a definite learn that now. If it could be a questionable, I wasn't sure who that Magna was, I was, or if that was Magna, the last standing character, and I didn't even look clearly. I wasn't sure who that was. Not knowing can hurt you, so that did hurt me a little bit. But 7,000 is still a ton of points. I'm still very happy with that, and I'm still right on par where I should be. All right, so next up, obviously, I want to go here. And the reason I want to go here is because now we're up to 86. So see, now that it jumped up higher... If you go backwards, it really, it's looking like your best option. With skipping those that are going to cost you huge points in the long run. So for four turns seems to be about my average, which is good. And then that one's 10,743 points. I got the streak bonus plus the four turn bonus. So that's just phenomenal. That's super exciting. And I have one more left. So one more 10,000 would be phenomenal. And my odds are not in my favor. All right, let's see. I am thinking. I would be able to put this team down the fastest. This team could give me a run for my money a little bit. And it, and it might not. If they're not veterans, um, I would do just fine. But if they are, I wouldn't. I'm not exactly sure what to do on this one. It's a risk either way. So I'm going to go on on this one and say a prayer and hope that I put them down within five, six turns tops. But we're not going to be able to know yet. All right, so good for me. One veteran. Awesome. All right, first thing I'm going to do is put him down, honestly. Now I'm going to come after her because she decapitates. And she's about to go off. Oh, please don't kill anyone. Oh, she got one down, which sucks. That does hurt me. But they should be able to bring everybody back else up, and I should recover okay. Come on. Nope. Not going to recover. I could lose this one, and then I'm going to lose my streak. And I was defeated. Bummer. So I got no points on that. It was the end. Didn't put me any further up. And uh, I'm still where I'm at. Actually knocked me down one because it goes off. Well, it goes off your top. But somebody else has just gotten a little higher than me. So let's see. The top is, like I said, 50,000. So it's 51 for first. And there's Mama said. That's why. That's funny. They're right there. And they're in second place for 49. So as you can see, everybody is pretty close to each other, and that's because of, you know, the points are based off of how they're based off of what we've just went over, and everyone's getting about those entries, so we're just about the same strengths is just how it comes at, so it's so, so close when you are all about the same strength, and that's where we're at here, so. All right, so your defense team, you get to decide, or they decide it and put it up for you. Um, you can come in here and change it and make it anything that you want. Um, and you can make your train, you can, let me go back in there. You can change your teams for all of them. So these are all of them. So you can literally go through and save that. All right, guys, so I'm attaching this quickly, but you can go through and actually change your teams in all of them to put better defenses up there, harder defenses up there, easier defenses up there, whatever you want to do. And, um, and then, of course, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate. I know this is a lot of information. Um, I think this is very, very cool, though, um, to see that they made these changes. I'm excited. So I hope this is helpful, 
And again, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate. And please, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Good luck, everyone, to war. Kick ass out there. And uh, let's have an awesome war weekend. Thanks again for watching.